All right, everyone, so the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive has been revealed and it is the Jurassic Park 30th anniversary Steven Spielberg figure. Now, this launches July 21st, obviously, this year. Uh, time will depend for everyone, but in Australia, it is 9 a.m., so, you know, good to know. And it is not a ridiculously overpriced set. It is $30.00 on the website so i'm in love with that it actually makes me want to buy it even though you know the shipping from the united states to sh countries out of the united states is ridiculous it's why i refuse to buy the uh jurassic park gate set i mean i already have the lego gates what do i need <laughs> a second pair of gates for to be entirely honest um and i'm actually yeah i'm gonna say i'm pretty glad the gates are failing because i really want that buck wreck so i hope because the gates fail it means the buck wrecks will be sold separately just like how the actual Hammond Collection Rex was. And then, you know, they did a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, put in that as well, which was way more expensive, so I didn't buy that. So unfortunately, I won't get Gennaro, but, um, you know, I might end up with a Steven Spielberg because this is a reasonable price. I mean, it depends on what the shipping is. For all I know, the shipping could be more expensive than, you know, the actual product. But, uh, you know, I'll have to wait and see for the opening day and make my decision, but I'll make it quickly because I know it will be s selling out incredibly fast. But my God, what is not to love about this set? I mean, sure, we already have the Hammond Collection Dilophosaurus, so it's a repeat. Wish there was something new about it, to be honest. Um, it does come with a stand, but Steven Spielberg's very awesome. I think what the only time... I don't think there's any products of him... Besides olden day Lego, this is kind of what reminds me of. It reminds me of the Lego Studio sets, which was like, you know, you build the Jurassic Park scene and then you had a director filming it and stuff, which was probably meant to be Steven Spielberg. So it's really cool. It reminds me of that. And we also had Steven Spielberg in the Lego game. Now we're finally getting a Mattel toy of him, so that's super cool. Now let me read its description. 30 years ago, Steven Spielberg recreated dinosaurs on the big screen and started a global phenomenon. Today, we're celebrating the man, the myth, and the movie with the Jurassic World Hammond Collection, Man Creates Dinosaurs, Steven Spielberg figure. He even comes with a camera, personalized director's chair, and a Dilophosaurus with a removable frill and animatronic stand to reenact the magic of the original movie. I wish they called it uh, Jurassic Park, Hammond Collection, Man Creates Dinosaurs, uh, instead of Jurassic World, but that's all right. So, Jurassic World, Hammond Collection, Collection, Man Creates Dinosaurs, Steven Spielberg figure, first ever figure of the famous director in his signature jeans, t-shirt, and baseball cap, and featuring collector-level deco and articulation. Comes with personalized director's chair, camera, Dilophosaurus with a removable frill and animatronic stand. Steven stands at 3.75 inches. Comes in a commemorative Jurassic Park packaging that is a functioning clapper board. Now, I really love this image here. Got all the Hammond Collection people. Uh, unfortunately, I wouldn't be able to recreate this because I don't have Gennaro. But, um, you know, they've got the worker crew from the most recent... Uh, Beyond the Gates pack, actually the one that was before the Bra Hammond Collection Brachiosaurus, but you've got Nedra here, that's super cool. It's kind of funny how the kids went in the picture, you know, Lex and Tim, it's almost like saying, uh, maybe we should keep them out of the picture because the gates are failing and people aren't going to get a hold of them. Uh, you know, maybe they'll release them separately one day, you know, have a Lex and Tim pack, maybe put a goat with them, that would be pretty funny. But uh, yeah, I'm actually impressed with this Steven Spielberg set after the, uh, you know, I don't, I don't even know the words, disappointment of the Jurassic Park gates, like, um, I know a lot of people want it, but it's just ridiculously expensive, like, I bought my Lego gates, probably for the same price, if not more, and I found them in store, so, I don't understand why they can't just put this in store, like, they're a multi- billion dollar company i don't know but it's, oh this steven spielberg even the packaging looks great you know like look at that oh it's just so clean it's got the background as well with the jeep and stuff like they're recording the dennis nedry meets dilophosaurus scene you've got the jurassic park covering like what is not to love about this honestly oh you know it, i just find it 
really amazing. And I love that it is the chosen, you know, San Diego Comic Con exclusive. You can also buy it on Mattel Creations, which is hopefully where I'm going to try buy it from because I'm not flying all the way out to San Diego Comic Con. But um, what was I saying? So it's cool they did this because there are rumors of what could have been the you know, San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. One was Spinosaurus, possibly with the boat scene. That would have been awful because I really want my own Spinosaurus and, you know, I'm sure a lot of people do. So why make a limited quantity when they can sell it in stores knowing everyone will want to to buy the Spinosaurus? It's a fan favourite, so best not to do that. And then there was also Dr. Wu. I mean, come on, everyone deserves him. Everyone wants him. He's been in the movies since the first i mean sure steven spielberg's directed some of them and you know executive producer or whatnot uh but you know he hasn't been in the movies so i like that they chose this instead of dr Wu making dr Wu exclusive so you know hopefully we'll see dr Wu out in stores if they do make him you know it's been so long who knows if we'll ever get him at this point to be honest but yeah no it's incredibly good uh because like you know, you're probably collecting these figures to recreate movie scenes, the Hammond Collection ones. If not, you're probably getting them for an awesome collection display and whatnot. But the way I see it was I kind of wanted to buy them because they were in the movies and stuff. That's why I was buying all the dinosaurs. Uh, Irritators, not out of my country, neither is Metric Canthosaurus, so I'm not sure how I feel about buying them yet. I haven't come to that decision. Uh, no, maybe they'll come out eventually, but I'm definitely buying Carithosaurus probably buy most of the characters but yeah you don't need steven spielberg because he never really appeared in the movies you know in case you want to recreate stop motions with these characters so i do appreciate they put steven spielberg as a san diego comic-con exclusive instead of something that was actually in the movies so it is good they do duplicates in these sets like you know the last one they put a t-rex in there they put Gennaro, which, unfortunate, hopefully Gennaro gets sold on his own eventually. Who knows? Uh, I doubt it will, considering, you know, the Dominion Alley was sold in the three-pack. <laughs> we can't get her, so that's still annoying. I know people probably forgot about that. It's still there. It's still exclusive to that. But, uh, yeah, last year was T-Rex with a different paint scheme. This year's Dilophosaurus doesn't appear to have a different paint scheme, unfortunately. I wish it would. It would make it m- more, you know make me want to buy even more but unfortunately not so that's what we're gonna get you know but i i kind of still want to buy it because it looks pretty awesome i love the packaging on its own anyway make sure like comment subscribe will you be getting this and i'll see you later bye everyone